Shots fired. Corner talk. Gloves up, guns down. We got Tad Brown in the building. Man, you know, you know we got to bring up your last fight, man. Tell us about your last fight. How you feel about that? For real, for real, could have been a little bit better, man. But I seen a lot of open opportunities I was supposed to take that I did not take. But this fight, I'm coming ready, buddy. I'm coming. Uh, um, who, who you got? Who you got on this card? Uh, Kevin, Kevin Zent. Kevin Zent. Yeah, Kevin Zent. With Kevin Zent, he he's like a, a skinnier, like long arm type person. You know what I mean? I feel like he, he yeah, he, he throws a lot of punches. Um, what we really don't want to put your game plan out there, but do you feel like he's a threat to your style? Nope. Not at all. All I got to do is keep popping it on him and keep catching him every time he switch. So you going in there with the dog mentality, you trying to get rid of him, or you trying to just have a good match? I'm going to take care of business, but at the same time, I'm always going to be a patient fighter. I'm never a rusher. So you ain't got to worry about that. I ain't no head hunter, so I'm going to be real patient with it. Yeah, I respect that. I mean, I I, I like to I like to figure out my situation. Like, yeah, yeah, definitely. So you got a martial art background. Yeah, but tell me more about that. Uh, Muay Thai, Taekwondo, Jiu Jitsu, New Jitsu, um, Kenpo. Um, my dad did a lot of Muay Thai and Tiger Crane, and my dad does a lot of fighting. My uncle Bobby, R.I.P. to my uncle Bobo. He was a grandmaster type shit. He likes to fight. He drunken master was his favorite style. So yeah, well shit. You seem like this is you know you've been born in this shit. Like I ain't know you did all that. You know what I mean? Um, out of all the fighters and shit like that, do you um, who stands out to you? Armani. <laughs> and, and, and why does Armani stand out to you? Like he stand out in a. He can move, you know what I mean? He got the same movement as me type shit, and I like that shit. He's just a younger version, and I love that shit. Hell yeah. Anybody that you see in your weight class, because you in that, you in that 180, uh, 170, right? 160, well, y'all go up to about 180. Um, anybody in that class that you think you need to see in the future, Carlo Gambino, you got Dean, you got Trey, you got, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's a whole lot of them guys. I got no specifics, because I know it's going to come down to it where I got to do them, I got to fight them all, so. Yeah, you interested in that belt? Not for real, not right now. Not I'm gonna right. take my time getting to it. I ain't no rusher, you know. You ain't gonna catch me like no fruit gusher. <laughs> you know I, mean? I feel I'm, you, I feel I'm you. Patient, man. I'm yeah. patient, my dad always told me to be patient. Don't, don't never bite off more than you can chew. So, I'm just patient. What you feel about this movement, the gloves up, guns down, you think that's good for what's going on out in this city? It's perfect. It's, it's, it's actually should be like this, because technically, you know, there's a lot of messed up situations that's going on that could have been held and dealt with accordingly, you know. And this is the way it should have been done. So this is actually perfect for the community and the city. Most definitely. Now, um, outside of boxing uh, and the training, uh, you do tattoos and stuff like that, right, man? So you know you know, you got to plug yourself and show, tell people how to get in touch with you and see your work. On uh, Facebook, you can meet me at Tat Brown. On Instagram, get that money, Tat, T-A-T, the number two. Um, you can call my numbers, man. They post it up on my stuff. If you don't got it, it's 614-817-4560. Definitely, man. I, I used to do tats. I had a shop and everything. So I'm a fellow tat. Uh, I heard you want to do something with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking to. Uh, I'm looking to. We might put a couple of tat people in here. You know what I mean? There's a few of us, and so we're gonna talk about that off camera and all that. Um, we appreciate you coming out and rocking with the movement, man. So just keep, you know, keep, keep training and go out there and do what you do. And you know what I'm saying? Appreciate you, man. Shots fired. Corner talk. Tat Brown. Check him out. April 11th.